Welcome back to another episode of Searching for Prawns. Now many of you guys liked my reaction to the very first episode of Singapore Social, so I figured you can't really judge a reality show by its first episode, so why not react to them all? Is this gonna be a mistake? Probably. But you and I are on this sinking ship together and we're both going down. So let's get right into episode 2. So we open up on a bar, which is no surprise, and Vinny and May are somehow having a heart-to-heart -to -heart together. I feel like at this point in my life, I'm constantly searching for things. A lot of the time you can search for anything, I'm doing a lot of searching. Sometimes you kind of call it like, just let the universe, let it find you, you know? So May is talking about finding her life's purpose, and you have Vinny over here offering her advice in the form of Tumblr quotes. You know, he's like one of those motivational posters you find around the office. Just let the universe, let it find you, you know? Yeah. Vinny is outgoing, confident, and you know, he kinda picks who he really shows his true self to. And I feel like I've got them to know that side of me. So at this point, I'm still not sure if they're trying to pair up Vinny and me together, but my gut says that they're just trying to friend zone her so that she can still have a plot with him. But mainly, it's all about Vinny and Christina. We'll see. Hey. How's it going? The same, I'm organizing so much stuff for Cherry's DL. Okay. Is this gonna be your first time? Yeah. So the mayor of Singapore is on the phone with his girlfriend Joey and he's talking about inviting her over to his family's reunion dinner. You're gonna meet a lot of people, but it's gonna be fun. It's so hard to find a, a partner because no one understands my lifestyle. He says it's hard to find girls because they don't understand his lifestyle. Well, guess what? I don't understand what his lifestyle is either. I don't know what he's doing in this show. <laughs> Hi, mom. Oh, hi, son. Good. Yeah, well, I'm watching my usual drama, Korean drama. We need to talk about Chinese New Year. So now we're introduced to the mayor's mom, and she's in the middle of watching her Korean drama, so it's rude of him to interrupt her. This will be the first time Joey will meet the whole... everyone. Yeah. yeah One okay. shot. So we need to fix everything up, right? Okay. Wall, couch, curtains, cushions. This one? I think everything else is okay, right? Ah, the pub. So the mayor starts to list out a laundry list of items that needs to be done before Chinese New Year. But if you take a look at his mom's face, she already knows what needs to be done. She just wants her son to do it, you know what I mean? You know, just like Vinny, he should just do it, not say it. I'd rather do it. I'd rather not say it. So in the next scene, we see Nicole with her business partner and boyfriend, Alison, playing darts. Oh gosh. You gotta flip it back. I'm trying to hold my breath. <laughs> It's funny because her hiccup is probably the only unscripted part of the entire show. It's like I haven't seen you in two weeks and it's just been like... No, super stressful. How is your mom? So here's Nicole trying to check in on her boyfriend after he's been away for two weeks. And the first thing Alison says is, How's your mom? Come on, really? Now we all know at this point that the word mom is very triggering for Nicole. And it's very clear right now that it's written into everyone's script when talking to her. We need to like set a day to have date night. Do you think we have time? No, I don't have to shut you up. Whoa. So Nicole tries to set up a date with Alison and then he decides to just feed her so that he can shut her up. Hmm, that sounds like a red flag to me, girl. What have you been up to? What are you what are you doing now? Um, I'm looking to release the song about a relationship that is not quite working out. Yeah. So Singapore's Beyonce meets up with Vinny and they were chatting about the launch of her new single and the accompanying music video. And then Vinny goes in to pitch himself as the music video director. Music has been the backbone of my life. I have been addicted to music since I heard music. It's my best friend. I've been addicted to music since I've heard music? It's not just with my ears. When I see it, right? I feel it and I know it. Yep, Vinny's right. He sees it, he feels it, he does it, he doesn't say it. Dalai Lama could never come out of quotes like that if you ask me. Vinny is pitching me right now. Please, you're making this so awkward. You can see that Tabitha is slowly dissociating because she's not so keen on the idea. And I recognize that look. It's that face you use in meetings when you're just trying to be polite to listen to the rest of the presentation. Yeah, go on. I have a lot of time. So. I'm gonna bounce. Yeah. Um, I have another meeting, hoping we can come up with something, you know? So she's being polite and just agrees to it, instead of outright telling him maybe we should put a pin on it, which I'm sure won't have any 
potential consequences on the rest of the episode. We'll see about that. Covatella is the biggest event that's going to happen this year. It is a fashion show where everyone who's anyone is going to be there. So Suki is in the back of a cab sending out texts to everyone in the group inviting them to Covatella. Now I'm pretty sure the mayor of Singapore will be there but what about this guy? Also, this entire scene of her sending out an invite and getting instant replies is super unrealistic. No one in my group chats ever responds to an invitation that fast. They'll just wait to the last minute and then cancel. That's me. <laughs> Son! Happy New Year! Okay, thanks mom. Now we're back with the mayor of Singapore and he brings his girlfriend Joey to meet the rest of his family for Chinese New Year. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Very oh, nice. I have some oranges for you. Oh. Thank you. So Joey goes up to Paul's mom to pay respects with oranges that are still wrapped in plastic. What? Didn't the mayor of Singapore tell you to unwrap them? Yeah. I got a return you know. <laughs> That's the custom. Oh my god, the mom just returned the same oranges in plastic to her. Like, nope, you can keep them. I don't need them in my house. You know what, you gotta love Paul's mom for having a certain standard of oranges in the house. We have to stand. Oh! Happy Hi. New Year, I come very Good. Gifts. Good. So for some reason, Suki is here as well, and I'm sure this has nothing to do with Paul and Joey's relationship. So I think we're in that fancy phase. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. I agree. It. No, I'm with you. Yeah. So if I'm hearing the mayor of Singapore correctly, he's just gonna do it, not say it. I'd rather do it. I'd rather not say it. Hello. Can't even say you're fashionably late. I'm late, and I'm fashionable. So we're back at yet another bar again and this time Vinny and Nicola are somehow hanging out with each other. I'm trying to figure out this relationship with Vinny and Christina. Yes, we have chemistry, but in a relationship it's just so much more than that. It just seems like Nicole is trying to capo into Vinny and Christina's relationship. Vinny's just in his own world. I don't know. Couldn't even begin to scratch the surface of how this relationship works. You know what I can't begin to scratch the surface of? Whether Nicole's accent is real or not, that's the true mystery. Hi, Hi ladies! <laughs> so we're now at Park Royal, and it just so happens that all four ladies have booked a room at the same place at the same time, and they're all hanging out by the pool. Are you Singaporean Indian as well? Yes! Is your mom like next level Indian? She's next level Indian. My dad is too. So Suki goes off to talk to Tabitha about how they have similar backgrounds, and those two other Chinese girls are just eavesdropping at the corner there. Just look at me, she's busy typing on the computer, probably trying to find out how to fake an accent for the camera. I like this boy. He's an American. I'm gonna fly to LA and tell this guy I like him, like him. You are an idiot, Suki! So Suki is talking about this guy Tim that she just met, and she plans to fly all the way to LA to meet him. I mean, didn't you just tell the mayor of Singapore that he shouldn't be rushing into things with Joey? Do you ever get nervous that like you're moving in so no. fast? Like, come on lah, get your priorities straight, Ken. You trust yourself, right? No, and absolutely not. Hell no, I am a fucking absolute hot mess. I don't know what's going on inside Suki's brain, but I think it has a lot to do with those hair dye chemicals. So the mayor of Singapore brought his mom out for a run, which is more of a walk really, and then they go off to have a little chat. You know, I'm not always going to be at home, right? You know, last year we had the conversation. Yeah. But uh, you, were, you were quite upset when I told you that at some point, I'm going to have to move out. Now the minute Paul brings up the idea of moving out, his mom's face turns completely black. Me and Joey are already looking for places. But only a few months, you know, her five months. Yeah. The feeling is definitely there. Like come on, just give your mom a break. She has walked for three and a half kilometers and just needs a breather. And the first thing you tell her is, I'm gonna move out, bye. How do you feel? I mean, it might happen in the next few months. Paul is giving so many justifications and his mom is not having any of it. Ma, I really like her. But I've known her for five months. <laughs> the feeling is really there, son. I've raised your nipple-pierced, tattooed ass for all these years, and this is how you repay me? 
So we're finally at Covatella, where everyone is anyone would be there, including the mayor of Singapore. Covatella is all about female empowerment, and Paul and I got invited to walk in this fashion show. So Singapore's Beyonce is here with her boyfriend Louis, and Vinny comes out to talk to them about whether he gets to direct her music video. So, we talked about the music video and everything. Yeah. I'm still sitting on it. It's a big decision. You want to do it right. Yeah. Should we sit opposite? It's pretty awkward because she clearly doesn't want him to direct it, but she says, I'm just gonna sit on it, and then awkwardly walks off like, okay. <laughs> so the show finally starts and Suki gets to walk the runway with the mayor of Singapore. Hi! I asked Elsa to come with me. The um, kind of cancelled. Ooh, so Nicole starts to freak out because apparently Elsa did not show up. I love Nicole and for Alston to treat my friend this way, it's not okay. Wait, what? Now Nara gets her own confessional too? I didn't know she was part of the main cast. She deserves better. She needs someone who will always be there by her side. I love Nicole. She deserves better. She needs someone to always be by her side. She needs me! I think we should get wrong. I think this is a little bit more than just Nara being protective of Nicole. Honestly, I kind of ship them together. And you know what their couple name should be? Nina. Well, that's the end of the episode. Will Nara and Nicole find their prawns in each other? Stay tuned to find out. Bye! Yolo, say no, no.